So what's your name? What's your age? So my full name is Kamin Dakila Mungkel. For this interview, he will be calling me Uno, which is my nickname. I am currently 12 years old, and this year I'll be 13. My nickname is Una. I am 11 years old. Where are your mother and father from? So my mother is from Iloilo, it's in the Philippines, and my father is from Thailand. Okay. So you are, your ethnicity is? Thai Filipino. Okay, Thai Filipino, all right, very good. Which language did you learn first, do you remember? Uh, I really don't remember because I think I've studied both of them together, both at the same time. Yeah. English. And uh, which language is easier for you to use? English. I, definitely English. Oh, English. Okay, because you, you can speak three languages, right? Three? Yeah, three. Thai, English, and Tagalog? No? no, I don't speak Tagalog. You don't speak Tagalog? But I plan to learn someday. Okay, so English is easier for you. English, English is easier for me. Okay. And do you... So, so you're mixed race, you're half Filipino, half Thai. Yeah. And uh, do you have any mixed race friends in school? No, but I have a classmate who has a French aunt, so I don't think so. No, I'm the only one. Do you find it difficult sometimes as a teenager to, have to be mixed race in school? Sometimes it's barely noticeable that you're actually mixed race because since both my parents are Asian, my face just looks Thai mm -hmm. and I do have a Thai accent, which sometimes if you, if you go up to someone and ask, if I asked them, do you think I am Filipino? They said, no, you're Thai, you look mm -hmm. Thai, you have a Thai accent. So most, time, most of the time, it's quite easy. Okay. But when people actually know you, it could be a source of bullying. Right. But I got through that already. Yeah. Yes, it does. In English, my friends said I'm cheating, but I'm not. And uh, have you ever been to the Philippines? I have been there, I think, three times. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, but the last time we went was before the pandemic. Yes, it's different and it's kind of exciting. Right. And for you, which one feels more at home, Thailand or the Philippines? If I stayed in the Philippines longer, I would say the Philippines feels more at home. Okay. And what are your hobbies? My hobbies, I like reading. Sometimes I play games most of the time, and I play basketball. And if I am anywhere near a body of water, which Thailand is just full of beaches, I love swimming. I like swimming, and I like taking care of my pets. I have a dog, three hamsters, and some fishes. Your father works overseas, correct? Okay. Um, what does your father do? So I think he's a manager in the, what, what is he again? CIA, FBI? Corporate <laughs> slave. What? He's a corporate slave. Oh, no, no. Corporate what? Corporate slave. <laughs> oh, he's a corporate slave. Okay. No, I, I hope the pay is good. <laughs> okay. Now seriously, what does your father do? What kind of do? He oversees most operations in Sri Lanka regarding shrimp because that's what he works on. So he works in the seafood industry, right? Yes. Ah, okay. How do you feel about having your dad working overseas? Most of the time, I miss him, but every three or four months, he comes back. The last time he came back was a few months, a few months ago. I miss him, and it gets kind of lonely, but my dad calls me every night. The culture that you identify the most with is what, Thai or Phyllis? Uh, since I stayed most of my life in Thailand, I would think of myself as Thai. There's a pretty sizable Filipino expat community here where we live. You spend yeah. time with, with those folks, right? Yeah. Yeah, and um, so do you feel like you're connected with that part of your ethnicity? Yeah, sure. Because I can experience a culture, listen to them speak, maybe learn a few new words every day, mm -hmm. and like taste their food because they don't go to the Philippines as much, but they can bring the Philippines here. I like Thailand. I like the food. What is food like? First. First? Is it? Okay, so it's, we got the, the, the number one and then the ordinal number first. Right? Okay. Um, 
Would you like to live in the Philippines? Do you have relatives there? Yes, I do. Who lives there that you live in? My grandmother and my grandfather. Okay. And you've been there, right? Yes. Um, would you like to try living in the Philippines? Of course. Okay. Um, when? When would you like to go? After school? While you're still in school? Or? After school. Okay. And what can you tell me as a fluent English speaking student is one of the most difficult things to deal with in school? Because you're in a Thai school, right? Yeah, speaking Thai isn't that good, so um, some people just misunderstand me and then just think that I am older than them but just um, can't speak properly. Mm. Okay. So your Thai language skills are like what, 50%, 70%? 40%. Okay, so, but you take Thai language lessons too, right? Yes. Okay. Do you get along with your brother? No. to set up an animal clinic and a grooming service. She's very easygoing once she has gotten over her shyness and is very good at taking care of and keeping younger kids company.